welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our YouTube account and we're looking at the Cursed Realm and the impact that pets do have within the Cursed Realm. So I know um, using my data source, I went through, I did a lot of resets in here. We got to 5%. So this is actually one of the battles that I am doing the best in that I've scored the lowest in. I know we still do have almost two days, but looking at the rewards in here, guys, get some Stargazer cards, get some Temple Emblems. Um, but I wanted to look at the pets. So looking in here, guys, the amount of damage that the pets do, you can see 4.73 million from the Dreary Ball. We have our Frosty Beast in here, not doing any damage whatsoever. And again, this is where some of the, the players say pets do have a game-changing difference within the Curse Realm, um, specifically looking at this game mode. Um, and then other players are saying the pets have no impact whatsoever. So again, just wanted to kind of look down, see exactly, so three uh 356 356k with the beast right there um fire breather of course no damage you got to get them to level six guys to really do the damage here we had a little bit of healing out of the tufty ear um but now i want to go and i want to do some summons i want to level up these beasts a little bit and see exactly the build out so right here guys we do have the wing lion luring we have 1400 now i'm going to stick with these um specific ones now the new beast don't know the impact of the shielding effect that we're seeing, but again, I want to focus and build out these beasts first. Now, of course, you know, going through here, of course, is going to add stats, but what we're looking to do, guys, is get the beast's abilities. That is really the big thing, guys, the level um, 6, 12, and 18 to build these heroes out or these beasts out is what we're looking to do. So I'm hoping within the summons, we're getting a lot more spices, guys, because all of the other pets are already at... Um, the maximum level meaning they are all going to be recycled so anytime we're short of getting an elite beast um it is going to be recycled so i'm hoping that we can get the fire breather built up he is actually again from tier list from looking online um a lot of players have said he is the best and the strongest beast that we've seen is the fire breather um i really have yet to see exactly who is the best because i don't have any of them built a lot of players do have these already maxed out, which means level 36, I believe, at this point. But Fire Breather is the one that we are going to be looking to build, guys, getting some more copies of these Epic Beasts. And it looks like he's going to be the only one that we can build out here that we can actually add some more levels to. And it looks like we can add more than one level. So looking again at the best in slot here over at the Hellscape, and which one are we using him within? I think it was team four, maybe three. Or maybe I'm way, way wrong. He was in Team 5. So in Team 5, guys, the Fire Breather was in there. Looking at that team in particular, we have Isabella in there doing a lot of damage. Then we have Morio. So we have, looks like um, Tank, but we have Support in here. And it looks like Mage. So I'm going to go Mage. I'm going to go Support with our pet. Again, the priority you want to build these out is 1-1-1. One, one, and one. So even adding stars in here, 2-2-2. Two, two, and two, You'll go 3-3-3, three, three, and three, so on and so forth. But we know since Isabella is in there, we're going to go ahead and level this one up once. Looks like the next level is going to be the big one, guys, because of this crit damage amplification. But we also had um, Intelligence Heroes. I think we covered most of them. I'm going to go ahead and drop Strength in here. Boom, giving a little bit more of a buff. Tough to ear going to, there we go, level 18. And again, we want to get these built out, guys. Um, we want to build these out as soon as possible. You can see all three of them are at 18 right now. And you can also see here the stats they add, which is interesting because look in here, guys, 22, 25, 21, just based on levels. Even here, we have 11, 11, and 12, and 12. So right now, the Elite Pets, of course, having a lot more um, damage, a lot more attributes than we see with the rest of our Elite Beasts. Because again, I don't have them built up to the point that they really need to be. But I'm not sure if it's going to really make a difference within here, the Cursed Realm. And also, guys, I'm going to put a link down below to the guide for the Cursed Realm. Um, again, this is the best that I have ever done. So I'm actually going to get a couple more attempts in here. Gives us five more attempts. And I'm going to try with the beast being upgraded a little bit if it is going to make a difference, guys. Now, one thing that I don't have in here is, of course, the Awakened version of Taylene, which is going to give you an incredible amount of damage. But looking at the best in slot heroes in here, guys... Right here, we do have Raku with Grez, Rosaline following um, Raku within here. We have Estrella in here for the buffs. And then we have, of course, the twins in here, um, 
to go ahead and link them down doing a ton of damage within this formation. And I'm just going through the best in slot formations, guys. Again, the guide will let you know exactly um, some variations, things of that nature. So here we have Mishka and we do have Warwick. Oden, of course, in here doing a crazy amount of damage. Um, and then we do have Brutus as well as Halos in here. So good shield and combination in here. Um, Brutus is getting built out, guys. We do need a couple more pieces of furniture and he will be completely built out to that nine of nine, which I will absolutely love. Then looking here, guys, I am borrowing my Awakened version of Solus. Now this team has a couple variations, um, even moving Queen out of this formation. Um, some of the best in slot formations for team number three have actually utilized um, Orin. So it is the first time that we've actually seen right there, guys, 1.48 billion damage from Orin. I do not have him built up by any means. Need signature item, need furniture on him. Um, so I am actually swapping him out for Isabella within this comp, allowing us to do a lot more damage. But again, Orin is the first time that we've actually seen him, I believe, within one of these formations, guys, doing incredibly, incredibly well. Looking at team four, we do have Arthur in here. Um, again, we could definitely have Belinda built up a little bit more. Looked at a couple different variations. Um, didn't find any that provided more damage. Tried a couple variations. But ultimately, you guys, you want Ainz to get all of the boost. The boost from Rain is going to go on Ainz. Then, of course, Arthur is going to move forward to put him right into the aura. This one, the Fire Breather. Um, this one you really have to focus on with Nemisu. So Nemisu will actually put the buff up here on Isabella. Again, Isabella is not built out probably to where she needs to be, but best in slot, guys. We've been trying this. It's worked pretty well. We fell within kind of the damage parameters, again, of the guy that we were looking at. Then the final battle is Tassie, of course, for damage mitigation. Um, we have Silas in here for healing. I have the original version of Taylene in here for healing. Izold and Lucretia within this formation to go ahead and maximize our damage in here. Now, again, the parameters, and I'm going to bring up the guide on the other screen, guys, kind of looking at the parameters. And again, team one, based on the, the focus, five to eight billion damage. Again, Dreary Ball is the best in slot with this one. So we're going to go ahead. We're at 5.6 right there, 6 billion. Um, there's 6.87 billion we're going to hit with a couple seconds left. 7.5, so pretty good damage out of that. Rank, uh, team number two, damage is 1.5 to 3 billion. Again, this one I feel like we could be a little bit stronger with our Awakened version of Brutus. Also with Warwick, we don't have built out. Now, best in slot here is Polar Bear. Um, again, not having that Polar Bear in here or built out to level six or higher um, has a huge impact, guys, because, of course, Polar Bear gets those skills and abilities and also transferring more of the skills or the stats onto the heroes so 2.5 in that one which is falling on the higher end round three 3.5 to six this one i think is going to be a little bit of a struggle even though we have our little lion right up here doing a little bit of damage you'll actually see him fly right in boom does the beast damage flies out so 3.5 is kind of the goal here this one we're definitely lacking on our damage guys i don't know if it's because we have queen in there but we're gonna have to look at the variation Looking at team four, um, 2.5 to four is really what we're looking here. You can see Belinda's buff is going right onto Ainz. Ainz, of course, just crazy, crazy amount of damage. So we're above the 2.5, we're already at three, and the beast is coming in here, guys, with the beast damage. But again, kind of on the, the midpoint to, to the higher point on that one. This one, of course, the buffs of Isabella. Um, Isabella does an incredible amount of damage, guys. You do have to have her built out. Plus 20 signature item on her, very, very important. But as we know, with the majority of damage dealers, the better and the higher that you actually build her, the better she's gonna perform. We can actually amplify the damage that she's doing. This one is 2.5 to four, so we're just under on this one, which makes me wonder if we could swap a different hero in there instead of Isabella and do a little bit better within this formation. Final one, two to four billion is what we're looking for here. Again, we have the Tufty Ear now maxed out, guys. You can see the beast energy up here. Um, cleansing a lot of the buffs within this fight, which is the reason why Tufty works incredibly well here. Then, of course, we have Tassie in here for the mitigation. But 2.1 died out pretty early with the RNG in there, guys. But 21.8, best one we have seen so far is 22.9. So again, the RNG aspect does change up a little bit in here. And I am wondering some of the subs in here 
Um, if we could swap out, like within, I think it was team five with Isabella, I'm going to try swapping Scarlet in this formation. I know Scarlet is one. Gwen, it says Gwen can outperform Scarlet, um, but I don't have, I have Gwen built up a little bit. You know what? Let's try Gwen within this formation, see exactly what we can do. Um, Celerity Tree is maxed, just like my Mage Tree guys, Celerity Tree is maxed. And then, of course, within formation number four, which is Ainz, um, could put Joan of Arc in here. I, I know that that's one of the possible subs within here. Um, I'm going to try... Mm, that, that's kind of a, a tough, again, with Belinda with the buff. It, it's kind of tough within here. And the same with swapping... Swap, well, I don't have the other hero built. Let me try... Yeah, I'm going to keep that formation as it is, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and try, again, swapping Gwen in here. Um, see exactly where we go, and we're just going to skip through these formations, guys. I give it two attempts just to see exactly. So 22.7, that is almost where we were, guys, for the formation. And this is really the way um, to, to maximize the damage. So 783, what was Isabella doing? See, two, 2 billion right there. That's a big, big difference, guys. 783. So Isabella's still going to do, yeah, 1.93, 1, 1 guys. Isabella in there. But let's try Scarlet. Again, these are some of the heroes that you can swap out of here. So let me try Scarlet in here just because I know we have Scarlet built out a lot. And this is how I score a lot better within the Curse Realm, guys. Um, still 2.7. So even there, what did Scarlet do? Looks like even less, 1.1. So again, Isabella in this formation, guys, is still um, still really just doing an incredible, incredible amount of damage. So we will stay with Isabella in this one. And then again, this one, I, I think we're going to have to stay with the formation. I think we have one or two more attempts, guys. Um, but then I want to see exactly what these best-in-slot pets are doing. Um, for players, for some of the, the top whales within the AFK arena that do have these built out. Because I know it's going to be kind of crazy to see. So let's look at the leaderboard, guys. Let's look at, um, what do we got? I know we follow Key. We follow a lot of the players in here. So Tufty here doing 3.39. That's right, guys. Million damage right there. So 3.39. Mine is not even, I don't even think, relatively close that no 4.49 wow that did it. so he was at 3.3 mine's at 4.4 um tufty or a, excuse me dreary ball doing a a considerable amount of damage within there which i definitely like but i feel like these pets i'm kind of missing see guys there's five million damage from that polar beast i had zero 3.68 i didn't have an, have anything remotely close to that 46 million damage, guys. Wow. Blade Ridge, guys. 46 million damage on that one. Then Fire Breather, none. And then our final one, guys, which is Tufty Ear, is which is going to be the healing pet. Um, but 46, if you check that out, guys, it was 46 billion damage or 46 million damage. Um, mine did. 364k that is my my level six blade ridge guys again the impact on pets in here um is pretty high i i really feel like the impact overall with pets that's the reason i wanted to summon them out guys it's gonna take a long 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 time to build out the pets but overall guys little impact um again building out these pets are gonna make a difference as well as the heroes ultimately i would focus on the hero on the heroes, I, I get this question a lot of times. That's why I wanted to kind of bring it up. Focus on building out the heroes, guys. They are going to have the biggest impact. The pets are going to have the after effect of adding just a little bit more stats and ability to your heroes. And of course, guys, just giving them a little bit more stats and attributes to really work with. So guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.